it's no secret that we're going through the largest transformation any of us have ever experienced. In fact, I would even say any humans have ever experienced. And this transformation is not something we can think our way out of, but actually have to feel our way through. The future is not about being smarter, but much more about being wiser. And that's why I loved Melissa's opening today. Now, no matter how small or how large the transformation is you're going through, whether it's an individual transformation or a huge, large transformation that humanity is going through now, we have to understand that transformation has three phases and always has three phases. The first phase is sadness. Sadness to leave the shore of familiarity. Sadness to leave our comfort zones. And sometimes, sadness to leave the identity we have spent decades developing and building to begin the journey towards something new. Now, we've all embarked on this journey, whether we like it or not. COVID-19 kicked us out of our comfort zones, and now we've arrived at this new world that I call the strange new reality. And this new strange reality is even going to get stranger as we move into the next 10 years or so. And I'll take us deeper into AI in my masterclass that I'm doing in an hour or so. But today, what I want to talk about is this emotional intelligence that we require to navigate this transformation. Now, the problem is, is in order for us to deal with strangeness and unfamiliarity in optimistic, fascinated, and curious ways, we need to process emotions. If we don't process emotions, we arrive at the strange new world angry, sad, frustrated, and confused. And that's why this is an emotional journey. And best described by C.S. Lewis, who said, I sat with my anger long enough until she told me her name was grief. And what we have as a society around the world are people stuck right and squarely between sad and strange and are not able to deal with the emotions that are required to prepare for a strange future. You see, our educational system, our organizational systems, and our governmental systems are all set up on a need for stability and an addiction to certainty. And here we are in a world where the future is everything but certain and totally uncertain. And the future is not about thinking our way through, but about feeling our way through this incredible uncertainty that we're going into. Now, if I had more time with you, I'd explain to you that we still are about 10 years away of finding adventure again. And adventure is always the third part of a transformation where you find wind in your sails again, where your skills are now in line with what the world requires, but we're not quite there yet. We've just begun this journey of strangeness where all of a sudden, everything that we've studied for and everything we've done is coming up for question. And this is right across the world, right across all companies, and right across all human functionality.